Do you have sciatica, a radiating nerve pain down your butt, maybe the back of your thigh? It might even go all the way down your lower leg. For 90% or more of people, sciatica actually originates up here in your lower back. A disc bulge or herniation, a compression, or some type of inflammation around your lower back that impinges or pushes on your sciatic nerve. If you have sciatica, you've probably noticed that sitting, like when you drive, makes it worse, or sitting behind a computer for hours is when it's the worst. If you can relate, if you have this radiating pain, if you're struggling and trying to figure out a solution, I'd like to invite you to join me for a simple strengthening and lengthening flow. We'll do this on the mat. Our goal is to increase circulation, reduce inflammation, and hopefully ease up some of those pain symptoms. Most people who have sciatica have a forward flexion intolerance, meaning when they bend forward, it makes the pain worse. With that in mind, all of the poses will do with a slight spinal extension, a slight back bend. However, if your discomfort in the poses goes beyond four of 10 in terms of intensity, please back off or modify and always err on the side of caution. Let's get started. Start on the floor on all fours like a child crawling. Keep your back slightly arched. Gaze in front of you on the floor. Inhale, step your right leg back and gently look up. Exhale, return your right leg to a crawl position. Inhale, step your left leg back and gently look up. Exhale, return your leg to a crawling position. Keep that slight arch. Inhale, step your right leg back Gently look up, exhale, return your leg to a crawl position. Inhale, left leg back, gently look up, exhale, return back to a crawl position. Inhale, right leg, step back, gently look up, exhale, return your leg to a crawl position. Inhale, left leg back, gently look up, exhale, return to a crawl position. Inhale, step your right leg back, gently look up. Exhale, return your leg to a crawl position. Inhale, step your left leg back, gently look up. Exhale with control, back to a crawl position. One more time on each side. Inhale, step your right leg back, gently look up. Exhale, return your leg to a crawl position. Final round, left side, inhale, step your left leg back, gently look up, exhale, return to a crawling position. Lower down, down, all the way down to your belly. We'll work on a sphinx pose here, like an Egyptian sphinx, lying on your belly, prop up on your elbows, your forearms, with your elbows directly under your shoulders and your forearms and fingers flat on the floor. If you feel any pain or discomfort in your lower back or that sciatic nerve, please scoot your elbows forward, forward until the pain is gone. The movements here are very subtle, but together with me, inhale, gently look up, use your forearms to pull your chest forward. It's a tiny movement. Exhale back to neutral. Inhale, gently look up, pull your chest forward. Exhale back to neutral. Inhale, pull your chest forward, look up. Exhale, return to neutral. Two more times. Inhale, look up. Exhale, back to neutral. One more time. Inhale, gently look up, chest forward, sphinx pose. Exhale, back to neutral and lower down, down forehead on your forearms and take a break. Roll over onto your back. We'll do some core work here in a very gentle, controlled manner. On your back, place a rolled up pillow or towel under your lumbar spine. You don't need much, just a slight lift to keep your lumbar spine in extension. Extend your arms straight towards your knees, spread your fingers wide, lift your head off the ground, look towards your feet. Slow, controlled movements here. Inhale, your legs stay straight. Exhale, bend your right knee to touch your right hand. Inhale, legs straight. 
exhale, bend your left knee to touch your left hand. If this is pain-free, you can try bending your elbows and bending your knee a little bit further, but please don't push into pain. Err on the side of caution. Inhale, your legs are straight. You're looking towards your hands. Exhale, bend your right knee towards your right hand. Inhale, legs straight. Exhale, bend your left knee towards your left hand. Lie down on your back. Take a break. I'd like you to go no further than three or four out of 10 in terms of discomfort. If you're pushing further than three or four out of 10, back off, modify, less movement. Let's try again. Lift your head, look towards your knees, extend your arms, spread your fingers. Inhale here, your legs are straight and exhale, right knee bends to your right hand. Inhale, legs straight, and exhale, bend your left knee to your hand. Inhale, legs straight, exhale, right knee comes to your right hand. Inhale, legs straight, exhale, left knee to your left hand. Inhale, legs straight, and then exhale, bend your right knee to your right hand. Inhale, legs straight, exhale, bend your left knee to your left hand. Slowly lower down. And relax here. Pull your cushion out from under your lumbar spine. Carefully roll over onto your belly. Lie on your belly. Extend your arms forward like Superman. Your feet are as wide as your hips back behind you. And your nose is on the floor. Bend your right knee up at your side. Place your right fingertips on the floor at your side with your elbow bent up towards the sky. Turn and gently look up towards the ceiling. Hold here and breathe through your nose. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale through your nose four, three, two, one. Slow deep breath. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One more round. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Release flat down onto the floor, your forehead, on your forearms, and take a break. Extend your arms like Superman. Again, your feet as wide as your hips, your nose is on the floor. Bend your left knee up at your side. Place your left fingertips on the floor. Turn your head and gently look up. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lengthen, one, two, three, four. Exhale, twist, four, three, two, one. Final round, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down your forehead on your forearms and take a break. Side plank pose. Roll onto your right side, stack your knees, stack your ankles, Keep your knees bent to about 90 degrees, so your legs are bent. Keep your knees down throughout, and your lumbar spine remains in a slight arch throughout. Place your right hand down with your fingers pointing away from you. Gently lift up and place your left fingertips on the floor for balance. Optional, if you feel comfortable and stable, place your left hand on your side and hold here. In for one, two, three, four, out for four, three, two, one, in one, two, we're breathing in, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, one more time, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, slowly lower down, carefully, move with caution, switch sides. Lie on your left side, 
Bend your knees to about 90 degrees. Your knees are stacked. Your ankles are stacked. Keep your knees down throughout with a slight arch in your lower back throughout. Place your left hand on the mat with your fingers pointing away from you. Lift your hips off the ground. Keep your spine gently arched. Right fingertips on the ground for balance. If you feel comfortable and stable, optional, place your right hand on your side. Let's breathe together here. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Final round. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Slowly lower all the way down. Lower down onto your back. Roll up that cushion or towel again. Place it underneath your lower back. Give yourself two to three minutes here to rest. Remember when you're healing from sciatica, movement is medicine. As we move around, that helps to clear out inflammation. And as we do these gentle stretching and strengthening practices, they help to stabilize the area around that injury. Be gentle, err on the side of caution, and remember that usually, even if you have lots of pain, within six to eight weeks, your condition will resolve. Stay positive, commit to corrective exercises, and keep going. Remember with sciatica and other lower back issues, movement is medicine. You need to move to heal. It helps with circulation, reduced inflammation, and so that you heal long and strong, but you find the pace that works for you. I dropped a PDF of the poses that we covered in the description down below. If you'd like to train with me, I have a program called Yoga Body Daily. We work on strength and flexibility as well as metabolic health, and you can find all that information at yogabody.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.